guys hi everyone welcome to easy btech so in the previous lecture we discussed about the types of dc generators in this lecture we will solve one pro uh, different types of problems and different types of dc generators the problem number 1 a 250 volts 10 kilowatt separately excited dc generator has induced emf of 255 volts at full load with the brush drop is 2 volts per brush calculate the armature resistance of the generator so, listen guys by following my lectures you can easily pass the electrical emissions one subject and most of the problems are the repetitive problems and repetitive questions only we are discussing those who are uh, those who are failed in electrical emissions one subject and those who are feel that electrical emissions were a tough they should follow my lectures definitely you should pass in an electrical emissions one subject so here in any problem a 250 volts 10 kilowatts or 200 volts 5 kilowatts like that if he mentioned in a dc generator you can see is it a dc generator or motor yes it is a dc generator the electrical terms are mentioned in a problem electrical terms for a generator electrical energy is the output side so this 250 volts is terminal voltage and the load power is equal to 10 kilowatts if the problem is given first you should draw the diagram of separately excited dc generator so these two are the brushes and the armature terminals can be represented with a and aa and this is given to the load the armature is given to the load the field winding is excited with an external supply an external supply with variable voltage and the field winding resistance is RF the field current is IF so here the terminal voltage is 250 volts and the load power is 10 kilowatts and the generated EMF EG the EG is given as 255 volts and the armature resistance is given as okay in this problem calculate the armature resistance this armature resistance is the unknown quantity that means we don't know this value we have to calculate this RA first of all write down the equation EG is equal to VT plus IARA plus brush contact drop the EG value is 255 and the terminal voltage is 250 plus IA how we can calculate the IA value so by seeing this one the power is given 10 given as 10 kilowatts the load power formula is VT into IL 10 into 10 to the power of 3 is equal to 250 into load current that load current value is equal to 40 amperes that should be equal to armature current that armature current is 40 and the armature resistance is the unknown quantity brush contact drop he is given 2 volts per brush here how many brushes are there 1 and 2 so 2 into 2 so 255 is equal to 250 plus 4 254 plus 40 into ra and that should be equal to ra is equal to 255 minus 254 divided by 40 so that should be equal to 1 by 40 the armature resistance value is 0 0.025 ohms 0 0.025 ohms coming to the next problem a separately excited DC generator when running at uh, 
1200 rpm supplies a current of supplies a current of 200 amperes at 125 volts to a circuit of constant resistance you should remember this a, a constant resistance so again you should draw the diagram separately excited dc generator this is armature is connected to load the load voltage is our terminal voltage load voltage is a terminal voltage and the current delivered from the armature is ia current flows through the load is il the generated emf is eg internal resistance is ra so the field winding resistance will be rf the field current is if and it is excited with a variable voltage okay so variable dc voltage and here is mentioned that the field current is unaltered so the field current value is the field current value so if is unaltered it is not changed so you should calculate like this n1 is equal to 1200 rpm n1 is equal to 1200 rpm and ra is equal to 0.04 ohms and uh, current ia is equal to 200 amperes at 125 that means terminal voltage is 125 so first of all you should calculate eg1 is equal to vt plus ia ra plus brush contact drop ia1 ra so eg1 is equal to vt what is a vt 125 plus ia1 is 200 into armature resistance is 0 0.04 0 0.04 the brush contact drop the voltage drop at the brushes is 2 volts means 2 so from this 200 into 0 0.04 is 8 so 125 plus uh, 10 that should be equal to 135 volts the eg1 is calculated so eg is directly proportional to n how it is let's check it phi zn by 60 into p divided by a so once design is over number of poles is constant number of parallel paths is also constant in this e is mentioned the field current is unaltered means that flux is also constant number of conductors is also constant 60 is also constant can i write eg is directly proportional to n that means eg2 by eg1 is equal to eg1 is equal to n2 divided by n1 then you should calculate then you should calculate the eg1 value so eg how we can calculate the eg2 value means eg2 by eg1 is equal to n2 divided by n1 so here eg2 so what is a eg2 we have to find out eg1 is 135 n2 is equal to 1000 divided by 1200 so if you calculate this in your calci eg2 is equal to eg2 is equal to uh, finally you got the answer is 112.5 volts see if a eg2 is decreases yes or no he is saying that constant load resistance constant load resistance that means rl is constant what is the rl formula terminal voltage a1 divided by ia1 that should be equal to vt a2 divided by ia2 so what is the terminal voltage in this so 125 divided by 200 so 125 divided by 200 so that should be equal to what is the value vt2 is equal to the vt2 is equal to if you cross multiply this then 0.625 times of ia2 
0.625 times of I8. So the terminal voltage is also changed or not. If the generated EMF is decreases, if the generated EMF is decreases, then the terminal voltage is also decreases. Uh, now you can substitute in this equation eg2 is equal to vt2 plus vt2 plus ia2 ra plus brush contact drop so what is the eg2 value 112.5 that should be equal to 0.625 times of ia2 plus ia2 into ra value is 0.04 plus the bridge contact is 2. So in this uh, IA2 I am getting 0 0.665 is equal to 112.5 minus 2 is 110.5 and from this equation I am calculating that IA2 is equal to 166.165 amperes. This is very very important model. So once again we are seeing this. In this case First of all, in a separately excited DC generator running at 1200 RPM, supplying a current of 200 Amperes at 125 Volts. The circuit of constant resistance, that means the low resistance is constant. What will be the current when the speed drops to 1000 RPM? See, as the prime mover speed decreases, as this prime mover speed will be decreases, then obviously the generated EMF decreases. If the generated EMF decreases, our terminal voltage is also decreases. So you should remember that point. Eg is directly proportional to n. Eg2 by Eg1 is equal to n2 divided by n1. From that equation, you should calculate the Eg2 value. After that, we are, he is given as a one hint. Constant load resistance means load resistance RL is equal to V1 by Vt1 by Ia1 is equal to Vt2 2 by IA2. So we are writing VT2 value in terms of armature current. So we know the generated EMF which is calculated just now 112.5 and substitute in this equation then you will get the final answer that is our requirement IA2 is equal to 166.165 and the next problem on DC shunt generator. So a 20 kilowatts as I said a 20 kilowatts so 20 kilowatts 200 volts means these are called the electrical terms. So first of all you should draw the diagram of a shunt generator, DC shunt generator means the field winding is connected in parallel with the armature, in parallel with the armature, the F and FF and the current delivered from the armature is IA, current flows through the shunt field winding ISH and the current which is flowing through the load is load terminal is IL. So IA is equal to we have one relationship IL plus ISH. So the generated EMF is EG and the internal resistance e of the armature is RA and the terminal voltage is VT. That terminal voltage is VT. A 20 kilowatts 200 volts. So 20 kilowatts is lo load power, 20 kilowatts, 20 into 10 to the power of 3 watts and the terminal voltage is 200 volts, so 200 volts and uh, has an armature resistance of 0.05, so armature resistance is equal to 0.05 ohms and the shunt field resistance of 200 ohms. Yes, shunt field resistance of what is the shunt field resistance value is 200 ohms. Calculate the power developed in the armature. So power developed in the armature means the voltage which is generated is EG. The current delivered is current delivered is IA. So power is equal to power developed in the armature is equal to EG into IA. So this is our requirement. So ISH, how we can calculate the ISH is equal to VT divided by RSH. The same terminal voltage, the same terminal voltage will be appeared. So here the terminal voltage will be same. Terminal voltage is VT only. Here also VT. Then the field winding, shunt field winding resistance is RSH 
ISH is equal to VT divided by RSH and the VT value is 200, VT value is 200 and the RSH value is also 200 then the shunt field current is 1 ampere and uh, the load current how we can calculate the load current so VT into IL should be equal to 20 into 20 to the power of 3 so yes the load power is VT into IL na? yes from this IL is equal to 20 into 10 to the power of 3 divided by terminal voltage is 200 so that may be 100 amperes that is 100 amperes the most of the students they should commit a mistake instead of writing ia is equal to il plus ish instead of substituting il plus ish most of the students are substituting 100 value directly in a generated emf equation then you will get uh, a small change but it is a wrong procedure ia is equal to il plus ish then il is 100 amperes and ish is 1 ampere then the armature current is 101 amperes so now the generated emf is equal to vt plus iara plus brush contact drop in this problem I think the brush contact drop is not given. This get assumed that zero. Now terminal voltage is 200. Armature current is 101, and armature resistance. What is the armature resistance value? Is 0.05. Then I got it as 205, 202.05 volts. What is the power dev developed in an armature? The power developed in an armature is equal to Eg into Ia. That means 202.05 into 101. That should be equal to 20.71005 kilowatts. If you are doing calcis, then you will get the same answer. Power developed in an armature. So this is the problem on DC shunt generator. So DC shunt generator. So one more problem also discuss uh, on DC shunt generator. So this is very very important and this problem came in I think 2010 and 2016 model paper. So a six pole so this is a fourth problem a six pole lap wound lap wound shunt generator shunt generator supplies supplies 100 lamps of 100 watts 100 lamps of 100 watts 200 volts each the field the field and armature resistance are 500 ohms armature resistance are 500 ohms and 0.2 ohms respectively 0.2 ohms respectively allowing allowing a breast drop of so breast drop of 1 volt for each brush so each brush Calculate, calculate first one is armature current and second one is current per parallel paths and third one is EG is a generated EMF, fourth one is power output of DC generator, power output of DC generator. So this is our question. So here is given like this. This is armature. The field winding is connected in parallel with the armature. So this is generator IA. The current flows through the shunt field winding is ISH. Here is connecting lamps. All the lamps are connected in parallel. 
so so this lamps is 1 to 100 1 to 100 the terminal voltage which is given here vt is equal to 200 volts okay and the ra is equal to ra is equal to 0.2 ohms and rsh is equal to 500 ohms and uh, number of volts is 6 uh, that too it is a lap winding and the total brush contact drop this is total so two brushes are there brush drop of 1 volt per brush 2 into 1 that should be equal to 2 volts 2 into 1 that should be equal to 2 volts uh, so if you allowing this uh, how many lamps are there 100 lamps so the load current is equal to 100 bulbs into and the current which is flowing through each lamp yes or no this current is i1 and this current is i2 and this current is i3 so on this current is high 100 if you apply the kcl at this point the total current is equal to 100 into i1 lamp so that should be equal to 100 into the lamp capacity is how many 100 divided by 200 so each lamp is 100 divided by 200 because uh, why i am writing 100 divided by 2 means 100 watts divided by 200 volts will give the current in each lamp or not yes or no then the total current is now 50 amperes the load current is load current similarly same process is is equal to vt by rsh that should be equal to 0.4 amperes the first current is ia is equal to il plus ish so 50 plus 0.4 that should be equal to 50.4 amperes so for a lap winding for lap winding number of parallel paths is equal to number of poles that should be equal to 6 so ia per path is equal to ia by a that should be equal to 50.4 divided by number of parallel paths is home and 6 that should be equal to 8.4 amperes and the third one is eg is equal to vt plus ia ra plus brush contact drop so 200 ia is 50.4 and the armature resistance is 0.2 and total brush contact drop is 2 into 1 so i get it as 212 point 0.8 volts and fourth one is uh, power output is equal to vt into il that means 200 into 50 10 kilowatts so this problem this problem is repeated so many times in a complete exams also this problem is very important so here only twisted 100 lamps 100 watts and 200 volts each so 100 lamps of 100 watts and each lamp rating which is so each lamp rating is 100 watts divided by 200 then i will get the current which is flowing through each lamp but i have how many lamps 100 lamps if i know the i1 i1 is equal to i2 equal to i3 equal to i100 now i is equal to 100 into so whatever i am getting the current okay that is 100 by 250 amperes then armature current is calculated and uh, lap winding is equal to number of parallel paths and the current per parallel path c is a by a and the generated emf is equal to vt plus ira plus bridge contact drop then finally i am calculating the output power which is generated so with this the problems on dc generator is over in the next lecture discuss the problems on compound generator and series generator so thank you guys and